Today I head alone into the mountains to explore and investigate this abandoned home that's been left to decay for nearly 30 years. Outside the old farmhouse looks like an apocalyptic world with vintage cars and farm equipment lay barren in the mountains. I find the home had been left since 1994 when the couple that lived here passed away within the same year. First the husband Richard, then his wife sadly followed only six months later. The five bedroom house has been left to decay ever since. Time and nature has started to reclaim the abandoned family home with the family's personal treasures still left inside. Inside I find Richard and his wife's life trapped frozen in time in this true Welsh time capsule. Whilst exploring I find vintage typewriters and TV sets still set up from their last days here. I find family photographs lay out as if no time has passed at all inside their home. A family home once filled with life, now filled with cobwebs and debris. Join me as I take a look inside and see what and who remain. So straight away guys we're in this back room, this kitchen area as it looks like. You can see the old cookers. Like I said this place has been abandoned for such a long time. You can see all the old bread bin completely rusted away there. There is so much left as well. It has been cleared out a little bit as well. But look at this artwork still here. Christ and Nick Homadu. Never heard of him. See the old irons. Little trinkets on the side here. What does that say? I'm not sure it's in Welsh. It is broken as well, which is a shame. But look at these little bits. Big heavy iron from back in the day. So cool. Is that a photograph? Looks like it was at some point. It's completely faded away though. All black and white photograph. But that's pretty cool. See all the paint peel there behind the shelves. It is a shame to see the decay in this place. Another old cooker there, hidden behind these dressers. What do we have here? Is that a camera? Or an old radio? Old radio, I think. Little handle on the leather case. Some of this stuff like I've never seen before. It's so old. Old kitchen sink. Absolutely rank flavour of LucasAid there. Anyone that buys that should be on a register. Disgusting. The old kitchen heaters. Oh, what do we have down here? I don't even know how you open that, guys. How do you even open that? Oh, it's completely mouldy, damp in there. But we are just going to see what we can find knocking around. Ooh, all the bugs in there are disgusting. But check through this window, all the ivy creeping in. You can see how overgrown it is outside. All the damp wallpaper peeling away. And just look at the age of the old ladders. Old wooden ladders here. Only a small little tiny kitchen, but absolutely amazing, fascinating. Heading into what I believe is the living room, sofas here. Look at this guys, this is where you can really see the age of stuff. Ignore that, that's a tripod. Look at this window here, all the ivy creeping in, completely all the way through there. Looks like it's coming through the walls too. But look at this. Still got old flowers here too. That's so strange to see. Like I said guys, this place is complete vibes. It is so creepy in here. Oh, wow. See this in pretty much all the old farmhouses, the uh, old, kitchen old kitchen unit. I was gonna say dresser then, but no. But look at the pots and pans just in there. So cool. We'll sort that out after. See if there's anything down here. Look, completely covered in cobwebs. Oh, there's all mice poo in there. Old heater. The fireplace. Proper, like, I'd say 50s or 60s style fireplace there. Definitely looks it. The old oil lamps, candle holders. 
it's mad to see these little trinkets that's in perfect condition as well look at that it's actually got some writing present from I think that's somebody's name but that's cool just to see that in perfect condition sitting here I've got a little note here as well back of this postcard looks like one of the lakes around here something valley with Mr Peel oh god that's so hard to read Mr Peel is over 4,000 feet above us from Thomas Richard 1957 wow little handwritten postcard there from 1957 old TV look specified that it's color as well that just shows the age of it BBC one two Ooh, something feels warm under my foot there under my knee Ooh. electronic tuner GEC color pretty cool to find and check out this old radio ultra that's all it says oh it still turns European North Welsh North Scottish so cool Strasbourg so anyone's got an idea of an age of this guys because it's in pretty good condition and if you just look at the back of it oh look at that model serial number backs obviously come off but that's so cool to see just still sat here after all these years oh, I love it an old photo album you can possibly see the family that lived here then is the old farmer with his dogs there too look at this guys cattle I do believe that's here that looks like the garage at wall kind of looks like the garage that was outside but look, we love seeing the old black and white photographs. Sepia, Serpia. Look at the old cars. What year would that be from? That's so cool. But there is so many photos still in here. The old cars. There he is, farmer. Just stood there, not smiling. An old policeman there as well. That looks like the prison that we did not long ago. Wow. Yeah, it is. That's the prison that we explored not long ago. Wow. So the person that worked here, lived here, must have worked in that prison as a nurse. Look. Wow. I wonder if this is like the old warden's house or something. Here they are, outside the house. All the family. This is so cool. So many photos left as well. Checking out, guys. There's the house. That's the house that we are in right now. Obviously before it was all overgrown. I think we've got a year there, 1954. Wow, on this old photograph. So fascinating to see them. All the old photos just still here. So this is the family that we're gonna try and contact in a bit. Possibly get some of these people through. That would be absolutely amazing. Oh, check out the typewriter. If we can move that. Just put that on there for now. But look at this. Calypso typewriter. Still in good condition. A little bit rusty. Smith Corona. <gasps> Conspiracy. But check this. A little cooker there too fascinating I absolutely love finding the old photographs it completely makes up for things being taken out because you can actually see who lived here and how they lived amazing so weird to see them oh god a bat just flew past so weird to see them stood outside the prison that we investigated not long ago so the person that lived here would have worked there and that's just absolutely fascinating I'm gonna head down these corridors now you can see the uh wallpaper all bubbling away oh look a few uh old teapots and plates there still left that's empty some more plates so cool anything up there i can't really see no i can't really see but i guess this would have had all plates and cups all along it 
when they lived here. And just look how mouldy and dirty these windows are. Completely overgrown outside. Wallpaper hanging down. Look at this, cobwebs, spiders all over the ceiling, ugh. But look how retro the old wallpaper is. Old lampshade cobwebs hanging down. The old hat there looks like a bloody pirate's hat. Not pirates lived there, was it? Look at the front door, guys. All the ivy, all the cobwebs. You can see how long it's been since anybody's used this door. Decades. And here we have, no idea, it does look like an old commode. It does, and it still has the pot inside too. The old toilets, crazy. Actually carpeted on top as well. I suppose you'd rest your feet on there when you weren't using it. Dresser underneath. Look at the old light switches. Wow, wow, this room is completely full. Look at this, guys. We are gonna head inside if we don't fall and kill ourselves. But check this. Old bike in here, hat box there. This is gonna be completely full, isn't it? There's gonna be all sorts in here. Tablets I can see there. All the old furniture. Top of a dresser there. Weird how it's all been stored in this one room. This is from the fireplace. You can, you can make out what the stuff is, barely. Another old fireplace there, good condition. Looks like a farmer's actually used this room for storage. Hope he doesn't come back. But look how much stuff's in here, all the furniture. There's dining room tables in here. I suppose this would have been an old dining room. Got newspapers though. When are these from? 1994. TB stair for swimming club youngsters. Oh my days. 1994, so how long ago is that? 30 years? Yeah, nearly. Auntie Alwyn. Everything's in Welsh, complete Welsh speakers here. Doesn't even look like they spoke English. Another old newspaper. Again from 1994, December. So Christmas time. You do tend to see a lot of stuff that's been left around Christmas time in these houses. 1994 again. So it looks like more like 30 years. Bad intel there. Wow. But just all the furniture's left. You can see the brass on the wall over there. Still on the wall. More furniture. Cobwebs completely covering every little crevice in here. Oh, more. Oh, look at that. An old brass. Is that for a fireplace? Looks like. Nice detail in there. A bunch of wenches hovering around a fire, it looks like. Wenches. <laughs> but there you go, the brass up on the walls. Something looks like it's been on fire there. But oh my days, it's such a cram crammed room in here. Like I said, there's all tablets and medicines in that bag. Let's move over into this kitchen. Hello? Hello? Oh, that was weird. Just need two bangs then. In the kitchen area. Big Whoa! The whole door's just come off. All cutlery and bits in there. Can we save that? Oh my days, thank God for that. The hinge just come off. Just shows how rotten the house is. It looks like an old army bunk there. Which, if it is older people that lived here, they would have served in the war. Look at the ivy coming through. Even the ivy's died. Such a shame. Check out the old arger though. I was actually uh, researching these augers and um, something for this size, nowadays you're literally looking at 12 to 13 grand. And we go into these houses and they're literally just sat there in every single house we go. I've seen quite a large one and it's something like 64 grand as well. Unreal. Oh, what's this? 
December 22nd, 1892. Wow, Certificate Tonic Sulfur College. I can't really make out what it's for, but it's for a Richard Jones. Oh, I can't really work out what it's for. It looks like an attendance thing, maybe. Look at the old kettle. That is unreal. It's completely rusted away. You just sat that on top of there as it still is. Turn that tap and that's where your hot water would have come from. That's so cool that that's still sat here. You've got your trinkets on top. Look at this old vase, completely mint condition. <gasps> There's photos in there. Oh wow, check these out. These have definitely got some age to them. Wow. These are really old photographs. She looks like Harry Potter. No disrespect. They're actually so faded as well. Look at this guy. He looks absolutely fuming. This guy looks all right, but the, the guy on the right is fuming. Oh, he didn't want his picture taken, obviously. But look at all these just left. Hey, look over the little dog. She's well happy. There's no years on these though. Wow. These are so cool. The old cars there. There is like newspaper clippings here. I wonder if this was something to do with the people that lived here. I can't get to them guys without... I don't want to destroy them. Look at him shooting there with his shotgun. That one's got a date so I kind of want to see that one. 35, so it would be 1935. That can't be right. That can't be right. And that, you're going in there too. Old cattle shows and we'll pop that back on there there is some letters under there too that have been sat there for decades hundred percent just heard footsteps Shh. who am I shushing I'm on my own okay we're gonna head upstairs and suck more kitchen units, the old sink. Look at this old kettle. Old teapot, is it? Oh my god. Oh wow. But that would have kept the heat in then, I'm guessing. Old tea bag dispenser. Still got tea in it. That's crazy. And then a cooker, Alice in Wonderland. This seems a bit more modern, but. Wow. Alice in Wonderland literally originated or was based from around here as well. Look at that though. Absolutely amazing. Okay. A few more letters in this dresser. All your cups and saucers. Is that an old check? No, it's just... There is all sorts, all bedding in there. More letters. And then, oh, piss pot. Old piss pot. And then this little dog. They did seem like dog lovers. Okay guys, so we've heard a few little suspicious bangs as we're walking around. The downstairs has been absolutely amazing. Some of the stuff that's in here, so old. So old. It's just gonna head upstairs now, have a little look around, and then we're gonna start our investigation. Okay guys, so heading upstairs, you can see the old carpet runner up the middle, back in fashion now. I love these brass, thick, like hooks, like stoppers I suppose they're called. But look at this, all the paint peeled off the wall, the cobwebs absolutely thick with cobwebs. Oh, there's a little snow globe under there. Oh, I'm doing it, sod it. Oh, look at this. It's is that Bo Peep with a little sheep? Just chilling there. Windows completely fell out, all overgrown. Ivy coming through the apps, the wall. Just shows there's gonna be some mad structural damage in this place. And you can see it on the walls here. Straight into the old bathroom. Oh, there's a funky smell in here anyway. An old bed, look. Just absolutely full of debris. 
It's all coming through the windows, past the curtains, look at that. There's wallpaper hanging above my head. The old system in the iron cupboard. So cool to see it in this proper, like apocalyptic state. Keep whacking my head on that. Come around the old lampshade there. But like I said, look at this structural damage. That's not good at all. Nice blue colors though. Standard for your bathroom. Okay, check out that lampshade. It's a bit different. And then the old retro wallpaper here. This fella praying to his sheep. Wow, nice little bit of artwork there, still standing. Heading into the bedrooms, it looks like two bedrooms. Retro wallpaper, nice old. Oh, there's a hook on the ceiling. What's that about? You don't be hanging meat in your bedroom. Might be like Rocky punching it. Some string hanging there too. But look at this. The sun coming through this window. Absolutely beautiful. It's a shame it has all been stripped out. It's probably all downstairs in that room. All paper peeling here. As if. It's never gonna never in a million years. Imagine if the lights came on. But it doesn't look like there's too much upstairs. Nice old heater. Some sort of rumbling, man. And then into what looks like master bedroom. It's got the big double headboard there. Look at this ceiling completely bowed in. Be surprised if that plaster doesn't come around me head. Washing line in the bedroom, guys. Mm, whatever you're into. Look at this though, out this window. Check these views. Wow. Absolutely beautiful views to wake up to every day. You know you pay for a view, and some of these old farmhouses, you'd think they'd go for an absolute fortune, but they're just left to decay and, and get derelict in this state. It is so strange, because you'd think some someone from the city would love to snap up one of these properties, but it's weird. I wouldn't have left it abandoned. Definitely vibes in here though cupboard here oh my days cobwebs galore in there there's a box down there but i'm not being funny guys i'm not going to walk through all those cobwebs just to look in that box and it's like a kid's skipping rope just on the side there so there's the house guys we have had a little look around i've heard a few bumps and bangs which are a bit a bit sus like we have seen some photographs who of the people that we want to try and contact we'll get some sort of messages through hopefully and we're going to start our investigation now see what we can pick up okay guys so we're going to walk around with the spirit talker listen out for that we're going to walk around with the k2 and see if we can pick anything up should be quite interesting especially with all these personal possessions left behind so if there's any spirits in this house do you want to come towards me can you let me know if you're in this room with me by going towards that black device on the mantelpiece you can also speak to this device in my hand let me know that you're here pass on any messages can you tell me your name or how you passed away here Camera's just picked up some over here, focused. But we will just walk through the house, listen out for the spirit talker, see if we can pick anything up. There we go, into the kitchen. If there's any spirits in this house with me now, do you want to come towards this device in my hand? You can take hold of my hand. You can make any knocks or bangs throughout the house. Can you tell me your name? Spirit talk has actually been... My neck. My neck. That's strange. So there's complaining about their neck. Can you tell me what was the matter with your neck? Is that how you passed away? You can come towards this device in my hand. Let me know that you're here. Just gonna move through the house, guys. Hopefully we'll pick stuff up. Can you tell me your name? Can you repeat after me? Just heard something on the stairs there. 
Spirit Talk has been pretty quiet. That has been working absolutely amazingly as well lately. Just gonna pop the K2 on the side. Just in the kitchen area here. Oh my days, look what I've just seen. What's this guy doing? The old taxidermy, just on the floor here. Of an old deer, is that? Sound. Sound. We have been hearing some sounds. Can you make another sound for me? K2 is just flickering there. Can you let me know how you passed away? What happened to your neck? Guys, it's such an eerie vibe here. So we've got my neck and sound so far. It's such a cramped room. So can you tell me what happened to your neck? Is that how you passed away? Can you tell me your name? Or could you tell me how many spirits are in this house with me right now? Guys, I'm hearing things around me. It's like they're teasing me, like they don't know how to take me yet. Do you know what I mean? They definitely know I'm here, but I feel like they're feeling me out at the moment. Evelyn. Evelyn did just ask for a name. Is Evelyn the spirit that lives here? Was that? Ooh. What the hell was that? What the hell? Just got a proper feeling that something just walked past that door. I don't know if it did. Something just happened. So Evelyn, is you or your husband still in this house with me? Can you let me know by making any knocks or bangs? By making this sound? You can also touch this black device in my hand. You can speak through the device. Guys. Secrets. Secrets. Can you tell me one of your secrets? Every old house has its secrets, doesn't it? I'm kind of freaked out. Definitely hearing some stuff. I don't know what that was by the door, but like I felt like it felt like, cause you know when you see something in the corner of your eye? So my neck, sound, Evelyn was a name that we got. And secrets. Definitely said my neck when I said, can you tell me how you passed away? And Evelyn when I asked for a name. Locked. Locked. Something's locked. Secrets, locked. <sighs> Quite strange. Right. Another bedroom. So I feel like this would have been Evelyn's bedroom. I'm gonna pop the K2 on the side there. So if there's any spirits in this house, can you speak to me through the device? Can you go towards the device? Some. If there's any spirits in this house, some. Can you tell me some more about what happened to your neck? Can you tell me if there's any more spirits in this house, what their names are? That'd be absolutely amazing. Also, if you could make any knocks or bangs, any footsteps. K2 has been really quiet at the moment anyway. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Do you know what's strange? I've actually got that before in a different house, followed by Angel. I wonder if somebody is looking out for me. If there's anyone in this house, any spirits that want to speak to me, you can touch this device in my hand. Just gonna head back to the living room area. There's some stairs there, which I've just noticed. Do not come down on the other side. So we're just gonna check these out. I feel like we may have missed a room. Yes, we've missed a couple of rooms here. Wow. It's like servant quarters. Oh my days, guys, look at the decay in this room. 
there's any spirits in this side, in this room with me, gonna come towards me. Oh my days, there's two more bedrooms here, so it's actually four bedrooms. K2 just spiked a little bit. Wow, look at this old fireplace. So the last words we got were, I'm protecting you. But check out this room, guys. Complete. Violet. Violet. So we've come into a different room that we didn't come in before, and we've got a different name. Maybe a child's name. These are smaller rooms. Ooh, very strange indeed. Ivy coming through the windows. Absolutely amazing. Dancing. Whoa, K2 is going mental. Guys, that hasn't gone off once throughout this whole house until we've come into this room and it's holding it on red. <gasps> it's just stopped. It's just stopped dead. Dancing. That is strange. That is very strange. So we've come up to this side of the house. We've got a new name. We've got dancing and the K2 has just gone absolutely mad. Another woman's name, look. Mabel. Mabel and the K2's gone off. Has it said the name again? No, there's definitely something in this room. And it's so strange that I didn't even notice this room before. Wow, so every time the K2 is going off, spiking it, this comes through with a name or a word. That is strange. Can somebody explain what the problem with the neck was? Was it a hanging? Did you choke? Guys, KT's going off now, I've said to hanging or choking. And I've just heard some sort of noise come from there too. Star. Star. What the hell does that mean? And it's just gone dead again. It's like something's going up to the machine, speaking, and then walking away. Guys, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to do some more investigating in this room. So I'm gonna go and get the REM pod and possibly do a necrophonic in this room. I feel like something's definitely in here. The K2 spiking, it hasn't gone off in the whole house and the words are coming through thick and fast. There's something definitely here. Okay guys, so we're just in the living room now and we're just gonna do a quick EVP, see if we can pick up any words before we head back upstairs to that bedroom and see if we can get anything on the necrophonic and REM pod. So if there's any spirits in this room with me now, if Evelyn or Thomas is here with me, can you speak into this device? Can you tell me what happened to your neck? Is that how you passed away? I know you set the K2 off when I said about hanging or choking. Can you be more specific with me? Can you tell me how many spirits are in this house with me right now? And if you know if you passed away? Okay, just listen back to that and see if we can get anything. So if there's any spirits in this room with me now, if Evelyn or Thomas is here with me, can you speak into this device? Can you tell me what happened to your Sounds neck? Like is that how you are. passed away? I know you set the K2 off when I said about hanging or choking. Can you be more specific with me? Can you tell me how many spirits are in this house with me right now? And if you know if you passed away? Definitely sounded like something straight away there. So I feel like I've just heard your voice through this device. Can you say something a little bit more clearer for me? Can you say your name? Can you tell me about the choking? Was it a long time ago?
Did you have any children in this house? So I feel like I've just heard your voice through this device. Can you say something a little bit more clearer for me? Can you say your name? Did you have any children in this house? Get out! Get out! Get out! Guys. Did you have any children in this house? This bit. That 100% sad girl. 100% sad girl. I need to go upstairs. That's where we got all the activity. That 100% sad girl then. Okay guys, so we're just gonna do a quick necrophonic up in this bedroom. We have the REM pod on the mantelpiece behind me and we're gonna see if we can pick up any sentences, words from the owners or somebody that passed away here. Should be quite interesting as in this room, we did get quite a bit of activity on the K2 meter. So if there's anyone in this room with me now. Your turn, it said. REM pod's going off. Home. Can you tell me your name? Can you Whoa. Can you tell me how you passed away here? Yes. Can you tell me if you were hung or... Did you choke? <laughs> choke, I said then. Leave. Why? Is there any children in this house with me? Can you tell me any of the names of any other spirits here? Would you like to go towards the device on the on the mantelpiece there on the fireplace? Could you set that off for me? Was it a long time ago that you passed away here? Go on, head towards the red light on the fireplace for me. The lights will change colour on there, let me know that you're here, it'll make a noise. If you'd like me to leave, you can tell me through this device. Go. Is Thomas here with me? If it's Thomas or... Rempot's just gone off when I asked if it was Thomas. Can you go towards the device? Can you get closer to the device? Can you move away from the device? Yes. Is that you by the fireplace? It just went to the green light, which means it's quite close, but not touching. If that's you, Thomas, can you go back towards the fireplace? If you'd like me to leave, you can touch that red light. You can speak through this device. Tell me to leave if you'd like me to go. I don't mind, it is your house. I don't mean any disrespect being here. Little girl's voice as I said it. 
Is she still present in this house? Guys. As soon as I said, is it a little girl? Is that you? Can you tell me the little girl's name? If it is the little girl, can you set those lights off again? Do you like the lights? It's getting a bit frantic now. If you'd like me to leave, set the lights off or tell me through this device. I feel like we've got plenty to go through with the uh, necrophonic and that has just totally freaked me out as I said is it the little girl something basically grabbed the antenna because the lights went all the way to purple you basically have to be touching it for that to happen oh guys Hey, thank you. Can you move away? No way. On command. Hey, thank you for doing that for me. Hey, I'm going to leave your house now. It's been an absolute pleasure to look around. I'm going to head down. Jesus. So there you have it guys, absolutely amazing farmhouse out here in North Wales in the middle of nowhere, complete vibes the whole time, so much left behind, photographs, all the furniture, TVs, absolutely amazing, definitely something in here with the REM pod going off exactly on command and so did the K2, such weird vibes in this place. Hope you've enjoyed it, it's been absolutely amazing, we'll see you this time next week for another abandoned adventure and it should be a good one, let's do it guys, on to the next one.